Hi guys, I'm doing a Bracky Palma Smith Eye video or Mexican Red Knee. This is a terrestrial tarantula that is native to the western faces of the Sierra Madre Occidental and the Sierra Madre del Sur, the mountain ranges in Mexico. This is a large species that is a popular choice for enthusiasts and these spiders can live for up to 30 years. So I've got a young one here. It's already got the signature markings of the Mexican red knee. Little cutie pie. So this is a young one. Then I've got one below it that is older. I'm actually going to try to pick this dude up and see what he does. So this species is a terrestrial species. So this tarantula is not very dangerous to humans. Worst case scenario, this guy bites me and uh, really wouldn't be a very big deal at all. You can see how big his abdomen is, which means he is getting ready to shed. So I'm being very delicate with him. So you see he's a little cutie pie. Then to the left here, I've actually got a breeding pair, which I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to handle those because we have bred them recently. And so I do not want to disturb them. Oh, let go. There we go. Good boy. Being terrestrial and not arboreal, these tarantulas carve deep burrows into soil banks, which keeps them protected from predators as well as prey. The females spend a majority of their lives in these burrows and usually have one entrance leading to one or two chambers. Now you can see this skinny little guy here is our male. The males and females have very similar markings, but the males usually have less mass and thinner bodies and longer legs. These guys make wonderful pets and are a pretty good choice for a beginner keeper as long as you make sure to do your research and know that you can meet their needs. So this is my big pretty female here. So you can see she's gorgeous. These tarantulas do make wonderful pets as I said. I keep mine on vermiculite, start them out in about 3 ounce deli containers and gradually move them up to larger containers until they reach about 3 inches at which point I transfer them to a shoe box which is uh, this size container which is large enough for an adult smith eye and I do put a water dish in the cage. These spiders breed in the fall and the females will drop an egg sac in the spring. And anecdotal information suggests that a cooling period mimicking winter followed by a wet season in which you spray the cage and keep the substrate nice and moist will inspire the female hopefully to drop an egg sac even though she's in captivity. So that's about all I've got today. And I hope this answered most of your questions about Bracky Palma Smith Eye. If you have any more questions, please feel free to comment or message me. Have an awesome night.